What's up everybody? It's a beautiful mid-October day. We got temperatures close to 80 today. The fall colors are popping. I got a feeling the fish are biting. I got a couple hours this afternoon. I'm heading out on pool six. See if I can find some walleyes. I'm maybe targeting that wing dam pattern today and uh, looking for walleyes. I'm maybe using crankbaits and jigs and see if we can put together something for a little show this afternoon. There's a possibility we catch some smallmouth too because those smallmouth and walleye are eating the same thing this time of year and they hang out in the same areas. So let's get out on the river and see if we can get a few fish. It's going to be great. On my first fish. Been kind of slow so far, but just hooked a fish on the swing dam. Feels like a walleye. Might be a smallmouth. It's feeling more like a smallmouth. And it's a white bass. It's neither one. It's a tanker of a white bass. Here we go, guys. Giant white bass. That was fun. I'll take that. Man, is he fat? Get him back. Bunch of seagulls flying around here. They're definitely feeding on some bait. Figured this would be a good area to be. Seagulls know where the bait is, and the fish know where the bait is. Birds equal fish, generally. We'll find white bass and smallmouth together. If there's bait, there's gonna be different species of fish. Right out on the main channel right now. Got a wing dam that makes kind of an L-shaped here. You can see the seagulls are feeding on something out there. There's some kind of fish swimming around out there. Guessing they're white bass, based on the one I just caught. These wing dams tend to get the bait pushed up against them. That's why the fish like to congregate up upstream of the wing dam. Let's see if I can get them going with the popper. Try to get the seagulls excited. Anyway. Go another fish on. This looks like a decent smallmouth. It's a tugger. Go. Oh. And these fish this time of year are just chunky as can be. I'm using a 3 8 ounce jig head and then the little dipper from Reactions Innovation. Uh, there's a nice little smomo. Still no walleyes. 
but they will come. We just got to figure them out here. Ooh, there's a good one. That's a small mouth for sure. It's a good fish. I don't think it's a walleye. Man, he's tugging. He's pulling too much for a walleye. Bet you never know. Oh, it's just a good small mouth. Tank small mouth. Here we go guys, Our third fish of the day, still no walleyes. If we catch smallmouth like that, I'm all down for that. Um, just a beautiful fish, he hit that jig. Eight pound line with a medium spinning rod, that's a blast. We'll get that guy back. Just casting out over the top of that wing dam and bringing the jig just up over the top of it. I can feel it hitting the rocks as I bring it up over the top and uh, snag up a little bit, but if you can keep it moving and don't let it fall down into the rocks too much, you should be just fine. And then as you get to the upstream side of the wing dam with your jig, there's going to be a trough and we're trying to let that jig drop down into that trough as well. And that's kind of where we ex kind of expect the walleyes to be. There'll also be smallmouth down in the trough. As the water starts to cool down more and more into October, those fish will be a little more lethargic. They'll pull down into that trough more. And more subtle presentations are going to be more effective. Right now, they seem to be crushing it pretty good. They're definitely keyed in on these... Um, bait fish. I don't know if they're shiners or shad or what what they're eating right now, but it's a bigger minnow. Uh, so don't be afraid to use bigger baits. You could throw even top water for the bass. You aren't going to get any walleyes. There's another fish. Oh, another good fish. He came right on top. Oh, you see that? That's another great smallmouth. I think I got a pattern going here now. Oh, wow. What an awesome fish. Oh, there's a tank there. Holy smokes, he's even bigger than the last one. Oh, look at that. Look how fat that thing is tell they're eating that's three pounds all day probably even more than three throw a scale on him see what he's weighing out at he might be three I don't know Figure that out last fish we weighed was 4.4 pounds this one is not 4.4 3.1, it's a three pounder, a great fish. Here we go guys, another great fish. Three pound smallmouth. Smoke that Reactions Innovation paddle tail, three eighths ounce jig, just dragging it over that wing dam. It's a beautiful fish. So I love about fall, it's catching these smallmouth, catching walleyes, fishing wing dams. We'll get that guy back. All right. There's one. Fish on. A decent fish. White bass. A 
Oh guys, another white bass. When you find the bait, you'll find the bass. Smallmouth and whiteies. Jeez. Something's just crushing it down there. Got him. Ball eye. There we go, guys. There we go. Well, there, I just had my first walleye, but kind of forgot I was doing a walleye video, but we'll get another one here. So excited to enter it into my fish donkey app. I forgot to tell you guys about it, but it was a 15 and three quarter inch walleye. Not a giant by any means, but I'm still on this same wing dam. I'm kind of out further into the channel from where I caught the uh, smallmouth, but I'm still using the same bait, still presenting it in the same way. I got uh, fish chasing bait all over the place in here. You find the bait, those fish are gonna be around. You just gotta kinda work around and try and locate and find what they're biting on. But we found the bait, we found some fish. Now we just gotta kinda really kinda hone in what they're biting on here or how they're sitting on the uh, wing dam itself. If they're more out in front, if they're in back of it, if they're right on top of it. Boom, right under the boat. There, walleye. Oh, it's a sauger. Nice little sauger. It's four different species off of this spot. White bass, smallmouth bass, walleye, and sauger. They are turning on here as the light is going down unfortunately we are going to run out of light before we run out of fish but we will catch them up until the point we can't see anymore fish we are on them now it's a smaller fish again walleye no sorry sugger Another sugger. Ooh. Got him. Oh! Man, there's a pile of fish down there. Speaking of walleye, let's fast forward one week to when I catch one of my biggest walleyes in a long time. As you'll see, I'm a little out of breath, both from excitement and from wrestling this big walleye into the boat with no net. It's a great fish and a great memory. This fish got entered into the Angler X Games as a walleye in my October tournament. I think it's going to be a tough fish to beat. But nonetheless, it was a great memory and a great fish. One I'll never forget. Check it out. What's up, everybody? Just crushed this beautiful Mississippi River walleye. It's just over 28 inches, fishing a wing dam. I haven't caught a walleye like this in a, quite a while, but it's just a fat fish. I mean, look at the, look at the mouth on that thing. And the gut, look at the gut on it. That's no summertime walleye, that is a heavily feeding fish. Just an awesome fish. Oh my gosh, 
I wasn't recording, but I'm shooting this after the fact. But uh, what a beautiful fish. We're gonna get it back in the water. This one's going on fish donkey. Good luck guys beating that one. It can be done, but that's a beautiful walleye right there. Give me a kick, girl. Give me a little kick. She goes. That's an absolutely amazing fish. Wow, I got him on this. I've been hammering smallmouth, looking for walleyes, and just haven't been catching the walleyes. But I uh, came up on this wing dam, just maybe two casts into it, and, and he hammered it. He's using that Kai Tech uh, paddle tail, 3 8 ounce. Kalen's jig head, eight pound test. That'll make your night. It's just been an awesome fall for fishing. If you guys aren't out fall fishing, you gotta do it right now. Let's get back after. Here we go. Got one of those buggers. Right pass on the popper. I just had that popper handy because they're busting all around me. And uh, whenever I see one going, I want to chuck that popper in there immediately. He got all of it. There we go. Nice little white bass on the popper. Bites really seem to have picked up here as the sun's going down. I'm running out of light. The river is so clear right now that I think those fish prefer to be biting at low light, at least the walleyes, early in the morning or late in the evening. Probably your best bet. Or if you get an overcast day. Today it was just clear as can be. Those fish probably weren't actively feeding much during the day. Now that the sun's gone down, they're starting to pick up here a little bit it's another nice fish it might be my last fish of the evening at least for recording purposes because we're running out of daylight but that's a beautiful sauger we just continue to work this wing dam and I'm throwing that same white paddle tail from reactions innovation just bringing it right along the face of that wing dam 3 8 ounce 8 pound test line and uh, they're thumping it Get it down by the bottom and get fish like that. We'll get this guy back. Man, these fall wing dams are just a blast to fish. If you guys haven't tried it, or if you're thinking about putting your boat away, don't do it. Get out here, enjoy some of this great fall fishing on these wing dams. The river's in great shape, the weather's been perfect. I think we got colder, wet weather temperatures coming, but get out there and enjoy some of this fall fishing. It can be excellent. You don't want to miss it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching.